this cap. Who wants to read the cap? You can get your your luck points or whatever. They're not called luck points, but I appreciate the attempt. <laughs> uh, hero uh, points, sorry. Uh, yes. That one. Um, I was not here. We, uh... Got a few things set for our journey. Uh, and set out for our, our travel to, uh, the city that I can't remember the name of right now. Uh, Sonterra. Sonterra, thank you. Um... Um, there was a dude uh, that I I think you were here for that, Jamie. Um, there was a dude, uh, Handerus Mudspin, that was killed. Mortician. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's where we're, that's the reason we're going to Sunterra. That's where he died. Um, to kind of figure out for Navi what the hell is going on there. Um, we met Donella and uh, are traveling with her. Um. And uh, like, to be down Ella. Yeah. Sorry. And um, uh, Aya ended up noticing that Donella every once in a while just like disappears for a while, right? I think that was yep. Aya. It was Aya. Yes. Um. So that's a thing. Um. And and talked to Adder and Soot about it, <laughs> which Soot hadn't even noticed, but Adder sure did, and was like, "Isn't that kind of normal? Maybe." Yeah, Adder had thought that that was normal and then was informed that it wasn't. Yeah, I mean, so if he would have heard about it, would have been like, ah, oh, maybe it's just fake bullshit also. <laughs> um, this, this, this discovery was eventually announced to the party, and Victor and Donella had a tense conversation um, mm -hmm. about it. Um, and... Uh, Danella offered eventually the party uh, an ability of hers uh, from her witch class, but before we could uh, make final decisions on that, I think we got we got swooped. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed a bird circling overhead. An owl. It looked like in its silhouette, but it was. It wasn't flying quite like an owl or at least it wasn't following the same behavior patterns one would expect from an owl not at this time of night mm -hmm. and um soot told everybody to get down and after he said that this owl swooped down and you guys were blanketed in darkness and yeah. we are going to start. Um, I'm going to first transfer you to this map, and you guys are going to put yourselves where you are, and then, and where you think you are in. I've just made sort of a rough approximation of whatever your camp might be. Um, mm. And you guys put yourself where you think you are, and I will then. I'm going to. You're going to lose rights. Soot was next to Adder, so... Okay. I, feel I will like... put Adder... I will put your boy next to you. Um, I think Soot was probably near the fire somewhere, so... Yeah. Your boy, your boy. Helping Victor start it. Victor would have it. been uh, relatively close to Danella, because uh, Victor was the one who was kind of, like, vouching a little bit for, like, I think Danella's on the up and up about this ability. Mm -hmm. Because I've got a really good sense motive. <laughs> yep. New, new fern token. Oh, new friend token drop. Oh, yo? I, ju I just slightly updated uh, the original pit crew to reflect what their, like, current Ooh, design nice. is. Ooh, nice. Uh, the other one was slightly outdated. Hell yeah. It was, like, alpha fern, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, that first pass at character design, you gotta get out of your system before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Everybody happy with this? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. 
then how about people roll initiative for me? Yeehaw. Me and or ha. Give me one second. Oh, also, I Seth, still that was have terrible. not leveled up my sheet. Uh, Alright. Yeah. yeah, sorry. As soon as things are out of sight, they are completely uh, out of mind. Nocturne uh, classic. Mood. We yes. gotta finish your sheet for New Dora, my dude. I know. I Well, I have... I, in the... Um, the character... <laughs> character sheet website... Mm -hmm. Um, I have a nearly complete sheet. It's just like most methods of sharing it don't share all of the details. Mm. So I, I think I can like, I can send, to get you to see all of it, I can send you the, the JSON file. And then uh, you yes. can upload that into the website in order to see all of it. Uh, yes. I thought we still needed to pick like a feat for you. Why is yeah. there... Her dark um, black text true. on dark purple boxes that is we unreadable. Need to, we need to get both feet. Mm -hmm. The uh, level yeah. one and the three feet. Yes, yes, yes. I think. But but I think I think he got all he got all his traits. He traded. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I guess it didn't clear from last time. All right. <laughs> There's so many of us. <laughs> everybody, everybody gets added all the time. Now we, now we go back from the beginning. On there twice. You Not get to go twice this time. Um, we're all using the modified boss monster rules that I use, uh, so we all get two initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Um. Then I sheet. would have had two two initiatives, but you didn't fight them, did you? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a great scam. Thanks, Ren. <laughs> yeah. So what what has Rathray been up to? Because uh, uh, I know fucking chilling. <laughs> okay, good for Rathray. Just also, been chilling. Parker, I really love that name, Rathray. Good name, ten out of ten. Thank you. Oh, uh, Aya, you look at you. Emily for that, uh, actually. Emily, uh, fantasy name generator. Yeah, Emily. Which, uh, which Emily generator belongs. did that come from? I do not remember. Fantastic. Do you think I'd make notes of that? No. Right, no. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just go to generators and I hope it's the right one. Right. Just pick a generator. Any generator. Yeah, out of five, check it. Yeah. That's what we do with our Flight Rising Dragon names. We, we just do the randomized name generator until the five check works. Right. Yeah. The wait until my brain picks out a nonsense phrase and I go, alright, your name is Ice Cream. Yeah. <laughs> I have one dragon called a uh, Coffee Cat Daddy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Donella, hello. Look for her. Nice. Everybody's really gonna have to bear with me um, during this combat. That's all because good. Of the monk and the witch being absent. Yeah, you've got You're a lot to deal with. It's okay. Yeah, we understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're here regardless. So. <laughs> this is just yeah, you vibes. can't. You can't uh, survive. Um, sorry, what did I say? No, you can't complain. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> you can't survive. You're just gonna kill us all. Like, all oh, right. Is that a threat, PK? <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, Doomed to die. Right. Smile. And now we're. Now it's it's Danilo's turn. So my my uh, this starts with uh, PK picking up Danilo's the character go? sheet. Did the initiative tracker just disappear? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, oh, it now is. it's back. Mm. Weird. Okay. So, which of you lovely people have dark vision? I do. I do. I think I do too, as well. 
Yeah, low light Well, vision. if one half elf has it, then the rest of them definitely <laughs> have it. I forbid the other half elves to have dark Navi. vision. <laughs> dark vision? Oh, God. Yes. You're I an elf, right? You elf. have it, right? I am an elf. I have. I have low light vision. That's, I don't that's dark what it vision. is. Yeah, sorry. That's what it is. Yeah, low light vision. I can see twice as far as humans in conditions of dim light. Whatever that yeah. means. Confirm confirm on your character sheet whether or not you have low light vision or dark vision. I what do you we'll see that? Uh uh dark vision. Okay. Okay, then dark vision, yeah, sorry. Uh you have low light vision. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have I'll see twice as far as humans in conditions of dim light. That's what low light vision okay. is. Okay. And I know what that is. I wouldn't know where to find it. I mean, so I don't think that's really on my feet. you guys can't see anything right now. Um, however, can I use this? Debatable. Does she need to touch them? Debatable. She can see them. And she does have a crossbow. Let's go with that. Okay. Not bad. It is. I, why are Danela and Aya going one right after the other? Sexy, that's uh, why. Yeah, sexy. So true. Aya cannot see, so she is going to take her full round to do total defense um, and just avoid avoid a little bit of uh, sadness this first round because she does not know what's going on. Mm -hmm. God bless. Um... Skylar, it yeah. is dark. It is. It is um, pitch black. An I owl is... just swoops down towards you. Yeah, I see that. Sigh, pull out my uh, rapier just in case, and tap my shoulder and cast shield. And that's right. <laughs> because I can't see shit. Um, I don't want to be attacked. So, uh, yeah. for reference, my AC is now like... Um, Oh, sorry, scrolling up. My AC is now 21. Good to know. Mm -hmm. um, it is Adder's turn. And Adder can't see this thing. What? No way. <laughs> he, he can, however, um, be aware of it. And the first thing he says is most of you are in total darkness and you hear just Adder's voice Fern watch out mm -hmm. and it swoops past Adder so it does Adder does get an attack on um, on it get him buddy come on you're so sexy Hello? Oh! oh my god! Yeah! He's so sexy! <laughs> wow! Yeah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy shit! Yes! Hell yeah, Adder! Yes. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm Adder doesn't fight anymore, guys. He's done. No! What the hell? What the fuck? What did- oh, he got a crit? Or? He did. Yep. Yeah. Oh, good for him. Jesus Christ. That's ungodly. Is that 16 damage or like 8 plus 16? That's how many? How is that? 8 how plus that 16. Work? 8 plus 16. Or, yeah, Jesus no. Christ. Adder. Oh my god. Adder. Uh, no, it I would just be 16 if you look at the. Oh, that's because uh, it's times 8. Yeah, times. yeah. Okay, I see it. I see it. Okay. It's yep, hard to 16, tell. 16 damage to the creature. Jesus Christ. Guys, I picked I picked correct with my choice of man, I think. <laughs> um and now um it is Fern's turn. No, it's not Fern's turn, I'm sorry. 
it is the owl's turn, and the owl is attacking Fern. No. Um, No, but he's the the owl's friend. So, let's let's see if these these attacks hit, first of all. That's one, and that's two. Neither of those hit. Neither of those hit? What's your AC? 19. Oh. You're flat-footed right now. Oh, I'm flat-footed? Then I'm not. Then the first one hits, second one doesn't. Sorry. Okay. Um, my flat-footed is 16. 16. Good to know. Um, make a fortitude save real quick. Um, I don't know if that's the right number. Hold on. I need to pull out a physical dice because my roll 20 temp roll 20 number is not right. Um, fortitude. Uh, that's 10. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. So the actual damage from the claws. is going to be five points of damage. And as these claws gash in just one of them, the talon uh, strikes you across your face. It's pain, but it's not like that burning, slicing pain that most that you would associate with most weapon or animal wounds. It is ice cold. You take an additional six points of cold damage. Normal it, owl. Yeah, it's normal a regular owl. owl. Regular it's, owl. That's a regular owl. Um, regular owl. Regular owl. <laughs> I, when I read the, when I read the owl stat block, I read about the cold damage and I thought, "Yep, it sounds like owls." Just just what owls do. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what totally. they say in Owl Town. It's Victor's turn. You can see, um, I guess I get to, I guess I get to make this a little bit visible. This, I used the normal owl token for it and everything, which is how you know that it is, in fact, a normal owl. Um, yep. Totally a normal owl. To token, I guess. Yeah, um, and wild, wildlife rehabilitation centers, they do warn about, uh, the cold damage that, uh, owls do if you're not careful. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. You know how it is. Uh, with owls, um, there. This thing just did. No, I don't. Yeah, this thing did just take a swipe at Fern. Uh, yeah, I can see this thing. Thank you, Dark Vision. Um, yes, you can. I am going to uh, turn around and I'm going to fire. Um, I'm going to fire an admonishing ray at it. Okay. Which is a uh, range touch. Okay, make your attack. Uh, what is my mod to hit? Uh, plus one, I believe. No. What's my. Oh, five. Um, oh, so that's going to be an 18 to hit? An 18 will hit. Uh, so it's going to take 4d6 of oh. non lethal. Okay. I just want to see how how well this does. Uh, that is going to be 14 points of damage. Okay, 14 points of non-lethal damage. Good to know. Um, that is my action. And then as... I do not overly have anything to do vis-a-vis um, Swift, but I am going to move myself up next to it. Okay. Uh, 
that's my turn. All right. Soot, it is your turn. You felt Hi. Adder move next to you to swing at it as it swoops past him. All right. Um, um, I do have a question. What is um, your question? Just for me as a player, um, is this thing, like, near to the ground or is it, like, up? It is around Fern's face right now. Um, so Fern height, which is a great, uh, strict definition. So um, would it, would it be matchbox height as dog? Matchbox could probably, uh, probably get to that creature, yes. Okay, because I was considering the possibility of Matchbox Bird. Um. Matchbox, um, in either case, uh, recall that Matchbox may also not be able to see in the dark. Uh, I looked at the stat block, and they have dark vision either as bird and dog. Oh, never mind. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah. Good for Matchbox. Um, so I... Let's see, real quick. I want to compare the... Uh, because I've got either eagle or dog that I can choose. Um, I don't know which one. I could do... Sorry, I... Uh... Okay, okay. There's only one bite with that one, or... If the eagle has... Um, two talent attacks and a bite, do they get both of those, or do I only get one if I summon him? Uh, you should get- you should get both of them, but one of them is your main one, and one of them you are- no this is when I wish I had Joe because she knows how the summoned creature rules work a little better than I do, actually. What's the um, question? Sorry. It's- the eagle has two, two talent attacks. attacks and a bite. Do they have different uh, bonuses to them? Um, uh, I don't no, they're believe. both- they both say uh, the, plus three, but... Yeah, each attack should have a, a thing listed for its bonus. And they're both plus three? Yeah, so um, plus, plus yeah, three. plus three to hit, and then it's a plus two for the strength, I believe. Or... No, no, the plus strength three is that... just what it is flat. You do not add the strength on top of it. No, I know. I The only plus I get to the melee, there's... Yeah. Um, I think that's actually if I have augmented summoning. I forget about that. Um, yeah, I'll, you know what, fuck it, Matchbox has become bird, um. Matchbox become bird? He is eagle now, but I a, don't, a I, black eagle, I suppose. I don't have a, um, <laughs> Just, a, a Matchbox eagle token, so the regular Matchbox yeah. is gonna be here. Uh, I can't I even, give, I can't even see him anyways, so. <laughs> you can't see him, but I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give control of him to you. Okay. Um, Need your help, I... buddy. And um, uh... he'll, I guess. Yeah, Matt, Match is gonna be there. Help for him. There's no the bird to help. So right. uh, you should have control of him. Okay. Yes, I do. Um, and honestly, I think where he is is probably all right. All right. Um, so I'll do the two talent attacks and the bite, I suppose. Alright, so first one. Ooh, attacking. that's a 19 plus fucking. Uh, plus three for the first one. That hits. Um, ooh, the second one definitely doesn't hit. That's. an eight to hit. Does not. And then the bite is. oh, that's also bad. Um, seven. <laughs> that also does not hit, but your first one hits. Go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Alright. Uh, where's my D4s? Oh, there it is, okay. I was like, in my my pile of dice, I can't find a single, singular D4. Um... Okay. So that's just- I guess that's just two points of damage, that sucks. Oh well. <laughs> he okay. hit at least! Damage. You did it, Matches! Good job, buddy! He's gonna oh. be clapping with his wings. All right, Dog Fern. Bird. Hello. You can't see it, but you sure as hell can feel it. All right. Um. Let's 
like grabbing me? It's ta- it's not grabbing you, but it's kind of right there in front. Of you. There feel it feels like there's birds fighting right in front of your face. Um, you can feel the wings moving air right in front of your face. Whoosh. After it has clawed um, and left that cold, cold sensation. Okay. Um, I want to grab it and cast Inflict Light Wounds. All right, and that's a save from it, right? That is a save from it. Um, and those numbers are calculated. Ten plus spells level plus my charisma, right? Yes, that sounds right. Okay, so against sixteen. Hello. Hmm. Well. Hello. What What type of save am I making? Sorry. Uh, will save. I will think? save. Yes, will save. Well, it definitely yeah. fails that. Awesome. With a twelve. With yep, those it does. Bird wounds. Hell yeah. All right. So. That is. Eight damage. Eight damage. Good to know. And it is now Vale's turn. And Matchbox is currently a bird, so she's going to be able to. Sk- I'm going to rule that she's going to be able to skirt in around this way. It's going to be easier for me. Mm-hmm. And she will... I don't want to do Astra's Dirty by doing anything cool too soon. So I'm going to do a dagger. Fucking Christ! Nice! Oh, wow. Second crit that of the day. So far, three nat 20s from characters I'm controlling. God. Nice. Hey, can you control Scott? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, yeah. take the reins. Yeah. That's six points of damage and actually with that oh. funnily enough the damn thing dies. Yeah! Because fucking I'm serious. Adder's not allowed to do combat anymore. I'm taking him out. Um, <laughs> no! He's, he's done. Oh my oh, boy. boy. He's too powerful. Um, but he's so sexy. Uh-huh. <laughs> he's, he's still level three as well. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god. I love him so much though. <laughs> he's he's anyway, the the owl dies and as as it dies, it doesn't make any kind of sound, but as Danila drives her dagger um, into the chest of this thing and sort of tears it away from out of the air and away from Fern as she does so. All of you who were temporarily blinded um, are... You sort of sense the darkness melts away, in a way, from the top of your vision sliding down to the bottom until... It is there at your feet, and it's like all the darkness that had surrounded you has just pulled in on this dead thing. And it does not look like an owl. Um, Alright, the fuck was that? Yeah, I'd like to know the same thing. Can I make some sort of check on this owl? Uh, uh you, you may make some sort of check on this owl. You may make a nature check, a knowledge arcana check. I'll you may do make arcana, a knowledge cause... planes check. 
Arcana. Can I do Arcana as well? I'd like to. You may do Arcana, yes. And maybe and a funky it... little listen, if uh, applicable. Maybe, maybe um, a funky little what now? Listen. Oh yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Um, Twenty-five. Uh, uh, Sixteen plus nine. Oh, no. What, what else? What were all of the checks we could try? You can oh. make a nature, an arcana, a uh, a planes. Yeah, oh, I think nature, arcana, and planes are. The that's few. what I have it invested in. Uh, okay. I'm. I'll try a planes check. All I don't right. Know how well it'll go for me. I will try a planes. Everybody slap your results in the <gasps> chat as you get them. Oh my god, I rolled Natural well. Natural 20. Oh. Everybody put your everybody put your results in chat. There and we go. my arcana was shit today. I will address that in a second. And as you guys are sort of taking stock after this brief but frankly uh, deeply unsettling interruption to your evening. You all can look, and the only person who doesn't see this is Fern, because it's on your face. Where this creature scratched you, that place that has been left cold, everybody else can see along Fern's cheek and down to their jawline is this dark stain on their skin. Hmm. This, this line of blackness that is not, I mean, we all know Fern's got a little funky, funky eyeliner moment going on. Um, this is not, is not really that. This is just dark. There's no light reflecting off this patch of their skin. Fanta black, got it. Fanta black. Hey, Fern. Uh, I, yeah. I, they, like, reach up and, like, touch it. It's cold. I don't like that. I don't, I don't say that out loud, but... Are you feeling alright? I mean... My face... Kind of hurts, if that no. counts for anything. Yes, no, that was a rather wicked scratch from that owl there. Yes. Did I oh. not have to deal with the villager right now? Anyway, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Minecraft! <laughs> was that a fucking owl? Yeah, just pillager comes. Not- um, yes, no, it was an owl of some kind. A not owl? Does a not it... owl could be possible. It didn't really seem like a fucking owl, if I'm being perfectly fucking honest. Yeah, no, yeah. I've never see, heard of an owl scratches doing that, or, you know, even an owl attacking um, people, unless, you know, it was a big fuck-off owl. Well, this is a little bigger than your typical owl, if it wasn't a big fuck-off owl, fuck off owl. Just sort of, and he gestures with his cane towards the creature on the ground, and indeed, um, it look in the token I have. It's just sort of owl shaped. But what what you actually see on the ground in front of you is this heap of dark feathers and limbs of some arrangement, just sort of piled there. And you're not sure why, looking at it right at this moment, why you ever thought it was an owl, but you know that you did. Now that you mention it, okay. The more I look at it, the less and less it becomes more owl-like. So. What do What do I think about that? What do you think about that? Why don't you make a a, a history or a local check to accompany? Uh, I, I would love to make a local check. I would love it if you made a local check. Um, going back to the checks, the uh, the first pass of checks. If you put your local in at the bottom, I will to it at the end. Um, Soot and Skylar did Arcana. Soot, your Arcana was mm, bad. Don't don't (laughs) like it. Don't like don't like what this is. Magically caused darkness around you. Didn't like that. 
um, clearly magically did something to Fern's face. Didn't like that either. Mm -hmm. Um, Skylar, looking at this thing and poking at it a little bit more, it is... As you as you're examining it, the first thing, and as you as you nudge it a little bit, it is every part of this creature is dark, as if it is cast in shadow. Even the bits that are right next to the light, and it is not not dissimilar in its entire body from the way the wounds were. Um, the dead wolves that you'd seen, oh, and okay. on that deer, yeah, that she... you don't quite remember. Um, and I'm gonna finish doing everybody's yeah. answers to the checks first, please. And so that's Arcana, and then the two planes. So Fern and Victor, you both, um, you both roll high enough to get. Looking at this thing, and the way that it is, and the way that it most decidedly is not, the first thing that comes to both of your minds is aberration. That's nice. Because that ain't right. That ain't how things should be when they are normal things originating from this place. That's, that's not, no. No. You reject that. That is... No. Uh, Victor with the 28. You... You... Have not... In your study of planar things... Dedicated particular time... To aberrations or their origins. However... This one in particular does seem, the more you're looking at it, the more you're like, there's no way I should have ever thought this was an owl, which means that its whole purpose was to make me think that it was an owl beforehand. You know, there's the, there's plenty of creatures that mimic and look like something else only to then be something far more dangerous. And, 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 and you get the sense that, hmm, this thing knows what an owl is. But it certainly never was an owl. It's too far removed from it for that. This is something trying to evoke the image of an owl. that has no common ancestor with the owl. That's that's what you get, I think, Victor. Um, Fern, that was your local, the 14? Yeah. Okay. Fern, you have some friends who you think this would be very interesting to. Yeah. Because you're pretty sure that there's some very good reasons something like this shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Because it's just wrong. This is wrong. This isn't from here. This isn't even from somewhere here that's not quite here. This isn't like from where you're from or from where some other people in the party are from. This is just not meant to be here at all. Mm -hmm. This is Mm -hmm. meant to be somewhere far away and for a very very good reason and it's been you've covered a lot of distance Fern since you saw those wolves and you don't like that yeah and you think You think there's some people who probably really would be concerned to know about this. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's just not right. It's not right. Um, 
good. I will type your listen. I um if uh, if you all would like to now you can speak in character. I allow this. Release yeah. release from lore <laughs> dump mode. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Skylar is like kneeling down by the not owl and like take how she she they have produced tweezers from somewhere inside their coat and are picking it up and p- dropping like you know and just inspecting it and they say so you know this kind of reminds me of the wolves we fought a little while back and the and those wounds points to us uh, um not set fern are not too dissimilar from the um deers hmm very concerning oh i don't like that yeah no uh, i don't um, know i it's cold and um, um personally i'm not i've been having um i had a weird day and i'm not really a big fan of my face being cold Oh. They're aberration. Ah, uh, that explains a lot. Uh, I have a question. Did anyone else get hit by this aside from Fern? Fern was the only one I got. Okay. <laughs> Y'all got it so fast. <laughs> yeah. I, I just I wanted like to make person. sure. Yep, Fern's the only one who got a wound. Hmm. All right. Um, I make a medicine check on Fern to see if I can figure out how to alleviate that while people talk more. You can make a, a, a heal check, yep. Yeah. If there are extra planar things, I wouldn't even say creatures. Well, it doesn't seem like it's from here, so... No, they're yeah, from it's... real... They're from real, real far away. They really do strike me as things that uh, really should be somewhere else. I don't think here is suited. Yes, no. Uh, things like aberrations. You are right. They are not from here. Very far away, as as um, Victor said. Uh, Skyler, as you... Hmm? Go ahead. Okay. Sorry. The other problem... This thing has been here long enough to know what an owl looks like. Mm. Yeah, no, that is also concerning. That's the phrasing. I, we should, I hate to say this, but we should probably be very on guard when it comes to any wildlife then, because this area seems to have a bit of a problem with whatever kind of aberrations these are. Well, we're a bit, we're a bit far from those wolves. A bit, like, like, concerningly, you know? The fact could be that they're spread all... out in the region. Yeah, the fact that they're just that's kind of around in a lot of areas. Thing. That's mm-hmm. like not something to be brushed off. Right. No, I'm not saying it should be brushed off. I'm... In fact, I did say we should be concerned and keep our eyes out. Um, I wonder if there's anyone else who could consult about this. Who might know? Well, maybe we'll get lucky in the town that we're going to to be somebody who knows about weird creatures like this. I've been to Serrano for, before, right? And that's also before my you're... area. Would I know anything? Uh, okay. Sorry. Yes, and yet yeah, both of you have been to Santerra before. Santerra, okay. sorry. Uh, in fact, I think everyone here but Soot has been to Santerra before. Yay. Um, sorry, Soot. It's fine. I've been on the road in places that were not this place. Like the fuck up Denny's. <laughs> oh, I was only like, there for a little while, and God, don't make me uh, go back. So, yes. Victor, you've been to Santerra before. Skylar, you've been to Santerra before. Skylar, your crowd and the crowd of people that interact with aberrations those Venn diagrams are two separate circles. Yeah, yeah. Um, your crowd, I don't want to say your crowd is, like, mundane shit, but it's way more mundane than this shit, you I mean, know? Like, would she have at least heard of someone that would specialize in that kind of thing? Like, You'd she... have to make a knowledge local check for me. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I'll put it in chat uh, after the whole thing. Yep. I was more asking after, like, I know we're, like, the libraries are. Right? <laughs> That's true. You definitely know where the libraries would be in Santerra. There are several. It is a large, large 
city, it's the capital of the province, you can definitely, there is a university there that would have a library, and there is also um, a public library that you would be able to go to. Um, I am far more interested in the university, God bless. And fair enough. Um, 25 knowledge local. Skylar, you know there are researchers for the planes and the and and aberrations and things like that people tend to specialize in particular areas though yeah and you're not confident That's not my area yeah which area of plane planar aberrations this actually is you just okay. think well planar aberration um so yeah. If, if given a little more time and information and time to chat with some people, you could definitely probably at okay. least get a contact who is who is close with a researcher. You have like someone, one of those seven degrees of separation yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know a guy who knows a guy. Find someone. You know a guy who knows a guy. Yeah. But at the moment, you're not sure you have enough information to know which guy knows which guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, also, what was the heel check result? Sorry. Yeah, the heel check. Um, as you're as you're sort of looking at Fern's face, um, it is. It's like, it's not even like there is like ichor or any kind of substance on the face that is making this happen. It just looks like the skin itself is dark around the wound, and places where it is bleeding sluggishly, the blood actually covers up the weird light absorbing effect of this. So in places where it's bleeding, it looks almost normal. And then places where it's not, it looks very disconcertingly dark. And you don't yeah. know... I mean, the wound needs to be treated no matter what. You don't know yeah, what yeah. you can do about the dark uh, patch on the skin. Okay. I think she'll just ask, um, say, first say, um, ask, so do you mind if I, you know, um, disinfect this a bit um, so it doesn't get worse? It could be infected and, you know, fucked up. And don't want that. Also, I think I might know a guy who knows a guy about whatever this thing is once we get to Sultana? What's it called? Sorry. Santerra. I'm so Sontara. sorry that the name of the province is hard, guys. I'll put it in the chat <laughs> again. Oh, hey. don't worry. Um, I know a guy who knows all about this, so, you know, we're one step better. Actually, I know two guys. And guys is tenuous, but you you know how it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, no, guys is, you know, just a general term. Okay, good. You should consult your guys, then. I know where to do our own reading if necessary. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. We won't be left in completely in the dark then once we reach Salt Sontera. <laughs> I, I think the problem is um, is that it sounds like a like four other words that I know. Yeah, same. Am I the only one that's been pronouncing it correctly? I think so. <laughs> I, like, I, I just... Santara, I named it after some Doctor Who aliens, so... <laughs> Santara, I keep wanting to call it San Santarans. Yeah. This, yeah. I, that's, I named it after the fucking Doctor Who guys. Yeah, so, the chubby little sorry. potato, the war potato guys. Sorry so, that I... Uh, Serrano is the name of a character from a very famous traditional play, Serrano it, the Bergerac. Yeah. It's also a is the name, uh, Sultana is the name of a uh, very similar food to raisins. Yeah, um, yeah. So I keep thinking, like, Sul uh, Sul Sultana and uh, Santarin. It's, it's, yeah, I'm sorry. God. I, I like okay. the Doctor Who no. aliens and I named my city after it's, them. It's okay. No, it's, it's, fair. It's, it's us. It's us. Um, it's, we yeah. will learn. The I'm just trying to explain. Sontara. I'm just trying to explain why I'm, like, not able to get this. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. I can't wait so, for you guys to meet uh, Vias's mother, Saldana, in... Uh... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. So, the name of the person... I actually named the person who did the fucked up thing to Zoella, uh, Saldana, also. 
Well, that was not uh, Maya's mom. <laughs> it wasn't. No, I'm kidding. Very, very funny coincidence. <laughs> it is. God. Anyway, it's also from the Madre Coast. Sorry. You're good. I'm an Madre Coast. Uh, Marquette. Marquette. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway. Anyway. Mm-hmm. And if given permission, she will, you know, pull out some alcohol, put it on a, uh, a, cl- a clean cloth, and disinfect uh, the wounds. Yeah, you can you can easily. Uh, hmm? If if yeah. it was uh, yeah, okay, cool. If Once. you're if you're not very touchy, <laughs> yes, yes, and no, just very light touch, just you know, dabbing, and then uh, yeah, and then she would uh quickly dispose of the uh, yep. yeah. You can give the thing some basic first aid. It has not improved the darkness of the face, but it has it has improved the look of the wound overall. Um, yeah. And here's some bandages if you want to bandage your own wound. I, you know, and you know, touchiness. And here, here you go. Um, Thank you. So. Back to, were we sleeping before this, or? No, we were having a long discussion okay. about who should get a scar hex. Or yeah, not. we had just started uh, making the camp. Scar hex. Yeah, yeah uh, something so... to do with Danella's abilities. Yeah, uh-huh. so Danella has an ability to give you guys a um, a small scar that can be of any place or appearance of your choosing. Um, and uh, bec- with this, if you have one of the scars, she will be able to um, cast defensive spells um, or a defensive hex on you and protect you more in combat. Uh-huh. Um, so the people who have already... Uh, stated that they are getting a scar are Aya, Soot, and Adder. Um, I think Skylar would also have advocated for one because she is melee and very yeah. squishy. That is that was one of the thoughts that we had last last time when we weren't here. Uh, is we figured you would probably have an interest. Yeah. Uh, in which case, uh, Skylar can absolutely have one. Victor will abstain. God bless. Yeah. yeah uh, think... Fern, no way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I will let I will let we can let Astros know when they get here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and then they can figure out how that process is because I don't know how long it takes to do the scar. Also, I think Sip probably has a moment of like, my dog's a bird. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, Matchbox um lands on. Uh, so it's hat and does the tippy taps. Oh Aww. my god. Did I They're accidentally so make you a bird, buddy? I'm so sorry. Did you make Matchbox <laughs> a fucking bird? I don't know how it happened. How is Matchbox a fucking bird? I don't know. Here. And he'll like <laughs> tilt his head a little bit so he can like touch him. <laughs> Adder reaches up and, and puts his hand in Matchbox's feathers and is like, Buddy, what the fuck are you doing? What kind, are what you a kind bird? of bird? Technically an eagle. He's an eagle, but he's the weirdest looking eagle you've ever fucking seen. Weird face. Totally black also. Think think (laughs) about if a Borzoi tried to be an eagle, because that's exactly what's happening here. Oh, God. (laughs) Your bed is kind of long. In places. Well, the dog's kind of long in places, so that fucking tracks. Yes, huh. It's strange. Why did you do that? Such didn't do that. Just I show think, up as a bird one day? I think he really wants to be a dog, but came to it as a bird to help. I don't know. I just asked him to help and I... Well, <laughs> well, I guess he's a fucking bird for now. Buddy! Do I, do I need to bring you back at some point? Is something else? <laughs> he's just he's, gonna... He's, He's like on like on the head part of your hat, but he's like leaning over and like doing like the little bird like beak mouths on the brim of your hat, you know? Oh, I love him. <laughs> he's just so like picking much. at it a little bit. <laughs> God, he's I love, munching. I love my bird. My bird dog. <laughs> I, we should probably dispose of this thing. Pointing at the bird with the tweezers. 
Wow. Uh, did you save anything from it? I was going to save a few feathers and possibly a vial of blood. And, um, I'd recommend right. the claws. I'd feathers. recommend at least some of the claws. Yeah, well. send the claws. That's what scratched, that's what scratched him from his face. And maybe I can try. Actually, maybe, I want to see if there's any, you know, whatever probably caused the cold, if there's something I can extract from that. So okay, I'm going to, you know, back up so you guys can't see me doing science to this bird. All right, you're you're trying to do some dissection to the bird. I'll yeah, get yeah. Food going. Make a survival <laughs> check. I Ooh, okay. I would like some feathers. Yeah, okay. yeah. I think she would remove a bunch of feathers and offer them to whoever wanted them because Doink. yeah, we don't know what fuck the fuck is up with this thing. Oh, uh, let's see. That was thirteen. Thirteen plus two, fifteen. I'll just put um, it in chat. Okay. Uh, so, uh, can I can I specify what like uh, so uh, do the feathers all look like they're in the same state or do they are they in like differing states? Here's here's the thing about the feathers. Mm. You know what feathers feel like. You know how feathers should be. You know the structure of them, the way the way they feel when you hold them in your hand. These ones, it looks... I don't know the best way to describe it. I'm going to turn on camera for the sake of visual representation. So you know how in a regular feather, there's like the individual fibers on mm -hmm. each side. This yeah. is almost like a plastic facsimile of a feather in that there's no individual fibers. It's more like there's the center, there's like the core, and then there's like a flap of material. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just like the so central fill and then two sides yeah, on, you, ooh. You can't brush it up and down and separate the fibers like you would with a real feather. It's just... Okay. It's, it's feather shaped. It's very feather shaped, and from a distance, it looks just like a feather. But there's no like individual things. It is all one solid piece on one side and a solid piece on the other. Oh, and that is the case for every feather that you touch and every oh. feather that you pluck. Hmm. Um. Okay. I would mm -hmm. like several. Yeah, yeah Scout is also taking several. And you guys, I... can, and everybody can have as many feathers as they would like. Yeah. I don't want I would the like <laughs> they can have them. Okay, here's the thing. I'm gonna look A I'm gonna look for some prime weird feathers. Uh -huh. <laughs> um and I'm going to put like it can't really like I don't have the materials to do like a scientific seal bag, but to the best of my ability with like maybe like a pocket bag or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, Tyler has going to do... She would offer it to you if you wanted it. Um, oh, then thank you. Yes. Um, no, no problem. Um, thank you. Um, see, seal it. Um, the pr prime weird feathers. Put put them away, and then grab some others. Um, that look. Hmm. That that just grab like random feathers. Actually, mm -hmm. that works better. Yep. And Skylar would but grab. I, Sorry, go ahead. Actually, wait. No, I want to. I want to vibe check feathers. You want to vibe <laughs> check the feathers? Yeah. And Skylar would take. Uh, and that's how I'll get the rest. First, yeah. she would remove one of the claw talent, one of the feet in general, just to have it set aside before she does fuck up science. Mm -hmm. That way, it's at least preserved. And then um, remove the feathers she wants, and then you know go through and fuck up su fucked up science. This thing. Okay. With your uh, survival check, you are not able to, in your dissection, a lot of things that have elemental uh, damaging abilities have some kind, particularly breath weapons. You're looking for something yeah. to land. Um, this creature has nothing of the sort. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing as you're handling it is very cold. Um, but you are... You are able to get your talons, your feathers. Okay. Okay. Um, 
and after and for everyone who wanted something from whatever this is i think she would take it to the side and bury it so that way it's not people just aren't looking at this thing and touching this thing then oh eventually... one more thing yeah sorry um sorry i just remembered as you're poking around its mouth the beak seems disproportionately large huh and that okay. is all you get yeah, mm. eventually they would come back and say, so, it does not have, you know, so typically a lot of these creatures that do elemental damage, poison damage, elemental, you know, cause elemental base pain or poison um, acid even, they have like a gland or some sort of um, sac that helps produce these effects. But that did not, that creature did not have anything of the sort. Also, it's beak. I don't know if any of you guys got a closer look at it, but its beak is abnormally large for, well, in, in, in relation to the bird-sized head, I guess. And, uh, those things are good, but not always perfect at mimicking things. Hmm. Yes. Although I wonder if it's truly mimicking something or well, if this is its natural form and it just wanted us to think it was an owl. Oh. Well, it would have to in some way mimic in order for us to think of yes. it as something, even if it is not, you know, yeah, doing yeah. it so physically. Yeah. There are more ways to mimic than... Yes, like magic you know. or even optical illusion. Victor, like, twiddles her fingers a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love optical illusions. Very good fun. Oh, oh, wait, no, I get it. Ha. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Skylar, who doesn't know sarcasm? <laughs> thank, you, thank you for that, Skylar. Addy, you're gonna... One of these days, they're gonna get tired of you. No, no. <laughs> yeah, well, you never so. have. I just, you know, not good at sarcasm, so... Well, um, I, I do apologize, genuinely. I don't oh. think I know any other language. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, fine. I think it's funny after the fact. I just didn't get it before, you know? Well, I shan't judge you for that. Most people who even uh, do get sarcasm don't notice they are... You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well... <sighs> I've got some feathers. Finn's got some feathers. I preserved one of the, one of the talons. Um... And I buried it so no one can get to it. Um, I will say, um, if we see anything like this again, something weird, we should probably just make sure it doesn't touch us. Yes. I, I mean, I know it's kind of, you know... And he kind of, like, waves a hand a little bit. A given, whatever. But, I don't know, I just feel like it's a bad oh, idea. That's a good point. Hey, wait, DM. Yeah. Last time the wolves were here, uh, attacked. Did they also go after Fern? The wolves um, didn't attack you. The wolves were okay. already dead when you found them. Okay, okay, that's right, that's right. Okay, cool. And See, somebody was down, looking did. for them. Somebody had been searching for them, it's true. Mm -hmm. Although the farmers could not provide details about that person. Exactly. They didn't have a straight story about who it was. Huh. Straight. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Those farmers were homosexual. <laughs> anyway. Three gay farm polyamorous farmers in a field. Three gay yeah. polyamorous farmers. Midwest. They're still Midwestern. Midwestern. Yeah, and and, da and dad and uh, tornado uh, watching whatever the fuck stance. Yeah, dad. Yeah, dad posing. Yep. The dad stance. Hips. Yep, hands on the hips. Well, I'll be damned, those are the largest of wolves I ever done see. <laughs> I will be damned. I mean, you ever seen a wolf this big? Yeah. No, anyway. no. <laughs> anyway. This, the, the, the owl asterisk is buried. Um, we can jump back and do Danela doing the scar thing um, when asterisk gets here. 
Yeah. Uh, I might actually, because it is like 10 minutes there, I need to go do some things, including take some meds and get some food. I might ask for like a 10 minute break. Yeah, we can call it a 10 minute break since, since Astris will be here pretty shortly. All right, Astris. you greatly appreciated. Astris might be Astris. Also, for your knowledge, Jamie, because of the scar thing, um, we I think we can make them any shape we want so you can choose what your scar looks like. And where mm-hmm. it will be. Yeah. So it's like a scar tattoo then, right? Yeah. We assume. Vaguely enough. Okay. Yeah, t- uh, Fern's not Fern's into dating. the concept. Yeah. That is Which fair. Is valid. Uh, Victor was also super not into it, but there were, if there was an extra spot, she was going to take it, but uh, is happy to let Skylar have it. <laughs> yeah, oh, and blessed. points at Soot and his, like, 15 AC. No, wait. His is less than that. It's like 12. Hold on. Let me see. Yeah. 14, excuse me. It was somewhere in the middle there. I knew it. <laughs> My AC isn't I... terrible. It's more that I go down in one hit and I'd like to be hit less. I will be right back. Yep. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm also gonna be right back. Sorry, All go right. ahead. No, you're good. Okay, be right back. So it could also go down in one hit. Man- man's got 32 HP. L. I... Fern has 36. I had a moment Swish. where I was like, why the fuck is Adder's HP so low then? And I forgot he's a level below you guys. Oh god. And he still hits so well. Jesus. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm so mad. He doesn't get to fight anymore if he's gonna roll nat 20s. <laughs> but it's so sexy, though. <laughs> He's so hot. You gotta let him kick ass. <laughs> I'm d- but he's <laughs> killing my owl. And it would have died anyways. Yeah, but and it like, already it died got after, fern. <laughs> it would have died after at least like one more turn if he hadn't crit it so hard. Well, it just couldn't handle my gay husband. Um, <laughs> your husband was too good. Sorry. Yeah. I'm- I'm removing him. No, you can't next, do that. That would hurt both of us. <laughs> next combat, I'm targeting Adder so that he goes unconscious and and I don't have to use his beautiful damage. <laughs> you you just kind of teleport him out and then he comes back after the fight. <laughs> that's what that's he gets what banished. I could have done with Danela. Oh um, God. He gets the Danela curse where he gets called back home. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, that would be awful. <laughs> he can't <Fucking>. leave. <laughs> no, he can't leave. Points at him, you're stuck with me. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, uh. I forgot that- I forgot as well that this man's could have done- This man's could have done an additional three points of damage on that. Right. <laughs> oh my god. I love him so much. I forgot his precise strike. I don't even- I keep forgetting his fucking swashbuckler features. I'm just playing him like a regular fighter guy. Uh, you can remember them when we really need them in combat. <laughs> I still can't fucking believe 18 points of fucking damage. There's there's no need for him to be this way. I'm canceling him. Hmm. I'm redacting him. No. He's gotta stay. Not the adder cancellation. Not you can't, you can't cancel my blind man. <laughs> I, he's being canceled for being problematic. Oh. Well, I'm our, I'm his defense lawyer. Yes. He's never done anything wrong. Sets an adder apologist is the thing. <laughs> Actually, that's kind. Well, I'd say that's kind of a lie because he will call him out on his shit, but also he will forgive him over anything. <laughs> he will. So true. <sighs>
excuse me. Hmm. Right here. Oh, you're good at mini golf now? Chips. Yeah, right <laughs> I'm trying to get Nice. Down. I can't focus. Taylor's gone. Taylor! Taylor. Lance, you're so cute. Be right back. All right. I love that my nails are wet, and so the first thing I I have a bag of chips. I wanted to open them, and I'm like, but my nails are wet, and I'm like, I have a scissors. <laughs> girl. <laughs> Help, girl. Scissors. I use scissors to open my chip bag. <laughs> a hole in one. Damn. She's an athlete. Look, yo. Cringe. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And return. Hello, gamers. Welcome back. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, then. Shoot. <laughs> Damn. All right. He's allowed. You're welcome. Yeah, that's cor that's the correct attitude. He thanks you. Incredible. And once again, he is ready to mute when having roommate conversations. <laughs> Unsurprising. I, ad I adore it, don't worry. Taylor won at mini golf, and I'm proud of her. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Taylor. So, what were the results of Taylor texting boyfriend last night? ex-boyfriend uh still still that actually ended way better than i thought it was going oh to. thank god um there's yes. no issue here she was out on a date with somebody else for mini golf um Fuck yes uh so <laughs> we good and everything turned out fine i last night y'all i was so fucking high last night yeah <laughs> i was god i wish that were me i was I out of my goddamn mind <laughs> Hello. 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 Sam asked me this morning, he was like, do you remember how you were like stroking my hand for like an hour? And I'm like, not at all, dude. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> so fixated on, on watching Love Island, which is a show God. that I had no investment in until I was high while watching it. And then it was the only thing that mattered and everybody else fell asleep around me. God. Things are like that. Once again. Yeah. Hmm? No, go ahead. I was just gonna say once again, wish body didn't hate her weed. <laughs> you and Sam are shaking hands. Yeah, can't do the either. Oh god, it just felt so awful. The paranoia and also um the fact that I can hear noise and it hurts. <laughs> it's yeah. bad. Uh, yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> I, one of the one of the studies that I watched people present on was about giving rats weed and seeing how they paid attention to sounds more. Um, so you and the rats are shaking hands. <laughs> rat, rat, <laughs> I am the rat. <laughs> um, Does this mean Nin can summon Ren? Uh, I was gonna say Nin can summon weed rats. <laughs> Rats who are really good at listening. Oh, I'm just remembering the last time, and every time my ears ring, I think about it, and it makes me want to cry. <laughs> it was, like, I had to literally blare my music in my ears to make it stop hurting. It was bad. <laughs> I'm like, that's it. I'm not doing that again. Because <laughs> it was funny, because drinking and doing that was a better thing for me than just the weed on its own, which is fucked up, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think cross-eyed makes sense, because the feeling is totally different. 
Yeah, Honestly, but it still didn't feel very good, even then. And to be honest, for me, um, I have to be, like, a little bit crossed away if I drink, because I, I, like, drunk on its own feels so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. I can't I just, relate, like, but I, I know that it's a, it's a thing for you. For sure. I just, like, Not I just, like, think so lady. high is that I become mm -hmm. a time traveler. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Hello, recording. We're talking about totally, actually legal things here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everybody here. I'm actually, 21. Yeah, we're all 21 and we. Legal state, have, so we're yeah. fine. Like, oh. yeah. There's nothing also, bad going on here. So, <laughs> also, welcome back to time, PK. Yeah, I'm glad I made it back to time. I was fishtail braiding for like six years of my life, I think. God. Um, Hello! And, and it was a fun... Astris! Hello! Hello! We're talking about how BK fell out of time yesterday. I got higher than I've ever been in my life, dude. Bruh! Lit. I was, <laughs> I was experiencing incredible, incredible things, but I also tried to fishtail braid my friend's hair, and I... I I braided so long that I fell out of time. Yeah. Yeah, one time I was so high. It was at a um, convention. Um, we had This was my third room party of the No, second room party of the night. There was one more after this. And um, this guy there, um, he had an oil oh, rig and excuse me. for THC oils. And he had one. I did not know this, but he, won he wins awards for his oils. And so he offered me a dab from his oil rig. One hit, and I was fucking time traveling, guys. Nice. <laughs> I have seen I was, time. Yeah, I was seeing time. I was feeling time. I was time. And then <laughs> I woke. I was so high that the next morning I woke up high. Oh yeah, I love. I love blow over. Wild. Mm -hmm. So wild. I've never been that high again. The first time yeah. I ever did a dab, I literally thought I could see time. Like, <laughs> like I. It was so overwhelming to my brain. I kept crying to my mom, who knew I was high and had just done dabs. Um, and I was just sobbing to her about how I could see time and like I could see the past, the present, and the future all at the same time and I knew what she was going to say. And at one point I was laying on the couch and she just comes next to me and sits down and is like, do you want a piece of chocolate? And I just look at her completely bewildered and go, Remus? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like Remus Lupin? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, oh, the Dementors. <laughs> <laughs> she offered me chocolate when I was in distress. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. That's why you could see time. That's, you just had your right. soul sucked out of you. <laughs> I was so high, my dude. Oh my yeah. <sighs> I um. Yeah. God bless. I love, I love that, you know, yeah, yeah, the time knife. We've all seen it. It's just such a yeah. relevant reaction image. Yeah. Anytime, mm -hmm. anytime substances are involved. That was my first thought when you said I fell out of time. I was like, I oh, really, I got the gift of this. I really did. Knife. You know We've what? We've seen it. You know what? I feel like I didn't see the time knife. I, like, heard it. That's why it freaked me you, out so bad. You felt the time knife. Like, <laughs> yeah, the time knife was me. <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, you, what, it sounds like when you were high, you were you were sequestered to Jeremy Barry. Um, yeah, so. Ren was having a Jeremy Barry over there. I I pulled an adder and I I didn't see. I only heard. <laughs> yes, pulled, pulled an adder. That's what they call it. <laughs> anyway, oh, cool. so that is indeed what they call it. On on that oh, note, Parker. welcome back. Hi. Yes. Pulled an Thank adder. You. It's like like a gotcha game. <laughs> Get yeah, adders, just cool. like a gotcha game. He's a rare collab collectible. You get, you get, you get five yeah. free pulls, and if you get adder, <laughs> you're very lucky. Points at soot, lucky man. <laughs> That's how NPCs work in this game now. You draw yes. them from a deck of cards, and you don't. You, you some of them are very rare. You put them um, in soot's giant hat and shake them around a bit and pull one out. <laughs> yes. It is now, uh, everybody is here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Astris, to keep you updated, um, 
the regular owl is dead. I, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Danila actually got the last uh, hit with her dagger. Uh, she shot it with a crossbow and then stabbed it with the dagger because I don't know any of your uh, spells or anything. Like, I just don't. I didn't, if I'm honest, You're I didn't so feel valid. like I came at any of your spells. Um, and the one that I did look at, I was like, oh, I, I, I was looking at it out of pure curiosity. I was like, I bet this would not work in this situation. And I was right because it was in total darkness. Um, but <laughs> you killed, you killed the thing. Hell and yeah. everybody came to the conclusion that this ain't an owl. This is an aberration of some kind from some plane mimicking an owl. Okay. In some capacity. Um, which means that it knows what an owl looks like, which nobody liked that either. It did scratch fern and has left a very dark, um, dark, uh, not quite scarring or staining, but there's a mark on the side of their face where, like, surrounding the scratch. Oh. Absorb light. It's band of black, but on fern's face now. So, up. Yeah, very. So, yeah, it's cold. And it's cold, just like the owl. Um, mm. And and other things besides. But yeah, you are now all still chilling around your campfire. The owl got buried, so I'll get rid of it. Um, the thing, but and you guys can continue your conversation from last week or the week before where you're figuring out uh her scar hex um skylar is interested okay so that would make four yep which is the limit so we have aya soot adder and now skylar yes yes what does skylar want and where <laughs> um so skylar is a slut but also a nerd so um i think uh, they would say, so I'd like, uh, you know, pull up shirt a little bit, little bit, pull down uh, the top of the pants a little bit and show it hip bone. Oh. And right about here, I'd like a little, um, you know, um, beaker or a test tube. Um, oh um, if possible. Which hip is it? Uh, I think on the uh, left side of her, on the left hip. Yeah. Okay. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping a list of what everyone has and where. <laughs> I almost asked I don't for a remember stamp. if I... Oh, I is getting a swirly tramp stamp. Nice. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was left up to me to decide. Nice. I think I we already deserve. said ours in chat, I think. Yeah, yeah. ours, uh, Adder and Sit were going to have a matching, like, bird or something on their shoulder. Mm, like on the right sparrows shoulder. or something. Yeah. A couple of black birds. Well, not black. Whatever. Scarring. Some bird. Just some birds. Yes, exactly. Um, and that is easily done, or at least I think it is. How long does the hex take to... Um, let me double check. Um, it doesn't have one. All right, we'll say that over the next little bit, it is feasible. I feel like it should have... Hold on. I think it's supposed to be... Well, because it's something I can do, like, during a fight, I think. Yeah. Or you make a will save to resist it, if you want to. Yeah, no, let me no. just... I will Not take a look-see. I'm pretty sure they all take a standard action. Watches Donella pull out her, uh, her tattoo gun. And let, yeah, unless otherwise noted using a hex as a standard action. So... Yeah. In over just a short period of time, you can easily create all these stars on people. Nice. Nice. She's delighted. <laughs> Boy. Who wants to be warded first? Hmm. You know, extra you know what? I will uh, go ahead. I'm going to be an adventurous and say I will go first. Some bit of adventure in one's life every now and again. 
You now have a plus two deflection bonus to AC and a plus two resistance bonus on saving throws. Yo. This will like last two. until you take damage or fail saving throw. Fail saving throw. throw. Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And I know when it happens, and I can just do it again like that. Pog, as long pog, as you're within a mile of me. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Pog. Oh, that's a huge range. Yeah. Th yeah. That's the appeal of the scar. Yeah, very sexy. Always. All right. That is accomplished. If Skylar is here, now might be a good time to do a quick info dump of information that the two blue dykes have about what we're doing in our, in Santero. Santero. Yeah, you guys, you guys know a little bit more about what's going on than everybody else. And I assume that at some point over the course of your road time, mm -hmm. or even right now, if people, if you prefer, you would catch your party members up to speed a little bit. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Skylar, what's I say? We're all here and present. I know sometimes it looks like I'm zoning out, not all there, <laughs> but I, I promise I am just pondering, thinking even. Um, and well, um, I actually am aware, I actually know the deceased, um, individual, uh, well, not really know, I know of them. My father, um, his first major case, uh, was for a local noble and um crap what was the exact case again pk <laughs> okay the case was the assassination of the grand duke okay yeah yeah um there was an assassination of the grand duke and the coroner that worked with my father on that case was insert name here because it's been oh, a few weeks and i jamie forgot uh, yeah i'll put it in chat <laughs> Um, That's a great name. Isn't it? I love it. Uh, you know, nice dwarven man. Um, oh, yeah, no. Um, uh, and that's all I got from my check, right? Or that's all you knew, correct? That's, that... that's, all, you, that's all you knew specifically yeah. pertaining to Mr. Mudspin. Yeah. Um, you obviously know more about the case itself, but... Yeah, yeah. The supplement... And... After the assassination of the Grand Duke, uh, his assassin was pretty quickly caught, but ended up dead in his jail cell in a very similar manner to the way Mr. Budspin has been found. Huh. Hmm. So, yes, with that in front of me, I was almost certain before that it was connected to the case. Well, the previous case, and now I'm more certain. Thank you for that, Victor. No, it's... <sighs> Just to be on the up and up, so we're going in with as much information as possible. Shifts awkwardly. <laughs> That's, it is appreciated. And does anyone else have any relevant information pro pertaining to our investigation? If I'm being perfectly honest, I didn't even know there was a grown duke murdered, so. No, that's fair. Oh, I wasn't aware this conversation was going on with us here. <laughs> yeah. This is everybody. Yeah. Yeah, everyone. I mean, I assume uh, Soot doesn't have any more information to this, probably. Unless you I wouldn't. Do. Frankly, Soot, you, like, a Grand Duke being murdered feels like some news you probably would have heard about, which means this probably happened a while ago. Yeah. Soot just shakes his head. And Victor will uh, honor. It was uh, quite a long time. Do do I know anything? Yeah, you Fern. Uh, oh, were you were around, uh, alive? I should say. 
um, 50 years ago when this happened. And the only... Hmm? Mm. Was that before... Sorry, with crack 30 times. Is that before or after Catman? I lost track of him. You know, it's the funniest thing. <clears throat> it was about that time. Oh. And you remember your friend had... said he had a job to do. To finish. Oh my god. And then... And then you never saw him again. <laughs> so you, you, you do remember this case. Uh... Because it happened... Right after the last time you saw Chris. And the death of a Grand Duke is a very big deal. Mm hmm. Of course. Oh my god. <laughs> the realization it has come. <laughs> Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, I know. I know about the Duke assassination. Great. Yes. Sure, they know about that. Yes. <laughs> you certainly are aware. So aware. <laughs> <laughs> My point being, I think we may have signed up to investigate something a little bit bigger than just a little murder. There was a way I could contact my father, I could get some gather more insight on the case. However, uh, he is rather hard to get in contact with whenever you need him. Sounds a, they sound a little bit bitter at that. <laughs> is your father... Is this um, just like regular father things, or is he um, of like a position? Um, no, my father is, uh, Lachlan Lock, the, uh, um, you know, um, world's most prominent cult consulting detective. Do do I know anything? Do uh, I know yeah. this name? You can make a knowledge or a knowledge local check uh, to figure I'll out if you a, know. I will make a knowledge local check. Go ahead and make a knowledge local check. Um. Whoa! My dice fell off. Fuck. Okay. I would also allow. Victor and Soot to make no sure, and and Danela as well to make history or local checks to see if you know this name. Oh, okay, that wasn't too bad of a dice Ooh. roll. History or local? Yep. Well, uh, that's a local for, me. for twenty-three. Okay. Um, nice. I will start with Fern. I'll just go as people put their so Fern. Lachlan Locke is a name that you know, and not just because, I mean, looking back at it, you've, you've been talking about this case as being a thing. Um, but that is the wrong number, Astris. Uh, <laughs> nice! I'm trying to type over like seven things. <laughs> I, I, I want that number to be real. I do right. look so at 21 and I had to put a it. stop to it before I started killing. Um, <laughs> what a turn on history. <laughs> um, God. Fern, you do know the name. Lachlan Locke. That is, from your understanding, uh, a very, a very uh, accomplished detective. You hadn't really heard of him before about 50 years ago um, in your circles, but then after that, it seemed he was making very big he was on very big cases um, for a while, at the very least, and still, as far as you know, is, although you haven't heard of him doing anything big in this country for a bit. He's done some work a little bit overseas of late. Um, Good and Danela. You 
Danila, you've heard this name more so in a gossip way. Like at one point, your parents were talking about some some murder and some guy mm. figured it out and the name Locke definitely got dropped and Lachlan Locke sounds right. And you know now you, of course, Skylar Locke, the name didn't strike you immediately, but now hearing Lachlan Locke making that connection. Oh yeah, that's definitely a guy I've heard of. Um, you're pretty sure it was your parents gossiping about local drama though. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, so it's you... The name is also familiar to you, mostly because he also worked a case in your province, not not in Iligad specifically, mm -hmm. but he... You were very young at the time, but people talked about it for a long time after. Um, he solved a case with the Grand Dukes uh, of the Grand Duke of that region, Alistair Vestel, um his daughter going missing. Mm. And, oh, Victor, yes, of course. Victor, you also would be familiar with his name in that capacity. I again, would be very familiar with his name in that capacity. Again, you were young, but you know, you know his name very much from what he did for the Restell family. I don't have weird, bitter memories about that. <laughs> you have no weird, bitter memories about what he did for the Restell family or anything surrounding it. Um, and furthermore, you've read his name very recently in your tabloid history book. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that is that is the value. And, and for, uh, let's see here. I'm going to say Burn. All right. You also, Skylar, the way Skylar is talking is interesting. Because the way you hear about this man, beyond just his prowess in terms of detective work, which frankly is not the most interesting part to you, he is a very sort of file reports, brusque, cold man, um, who doesn't seem like he would be easy to get in touch with if you weren't very, very important. Um, I thought you were about to call him a slut. <laughs> God. I was not, no, unfortunately. Um, it, if you're looking you're for slutty fathers, that. it's not this one. Yeah, not you gotta, this one. You gotta go to Injira for that one. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah. I don't have a cool slut father NPC for you all. I'm not Parker. I don't have an Agathon. Um, actually, that's a lie. I do have a cool slut father NPC. But he's not going to be around for a long time, so right oh. now you get this guy. <laughs> I was about to be like, Victor's dad was definitely a little bit of a slut at one point. Your oh. Victor's dad was definitely a little bit of a slut at one point. What else do we know about Victor's dad, Parker? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, oh, got no. a lot of absent fathers. Well, he's Victor's dad, for one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sure is. We got that on lock. So yeah, you guys know the name. And Fern, Skylar's saying, uh, my dad uh, is hard to get in touch with. That tracks with what you get from the vibe of this man. This man sounds like a little bit of a dick, if you're being totally honest. <sighs> Or did you just post the fucking yep? Yeah. <laughs> the the Skylar backstory uh backstory <laughs> document uh is so fucking funny. Love those two <laughs> points right next to each other. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I couldn't crop it any more than that on my phone, but yeah. So it's there. <laughs> I got so the autism part shot months ago. Um Wow well, I <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I am Skylar. <laughs> right Jesus. mood. <sighs> what did I send you that screenshot? Um Yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I believe you're discovering just how much Victor and Skylar are the same person. <laughs> That's right, yes. Oh. 
Oh, no, totally not any baggies there. As she mentions her fa- they mentioned their father being hard to get a hold of. There's clearly no baggage. Nobody even has to roll sense motive to tell there's baggage. Yeah. Qu- quickly pulls <laughs> out quickly pulls out their thinking pipe, pr- pull, puts whatever substance to use is to blow bubbles and starts blowing bubbles in the shape of like little little dragons. Yep. So just like t- quietly to Anna is just like kinda glad we don't know our parents. <laughs> ah. Yeah, the more I hear about it, the more I'm like, well, that seems like a lot of fucking annoyance. A little bit simpler not having to worry about it. Hi, oh, yeah. <laughs> the gay men being shady in the background. Yeah, they're just like. <laughs> Yeah, they're just conspiring, heads tilted. Uh, Sid, Sid is definitely sat down and is, is leaning on Adder, because that's what mm-hmm. they do. <laughs> mm-hmm. To be fair, none of you know that comment about Victor's dad, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. But mostly, the, the Skylar vibe was just so intense that they were both, like... <laughs> they clocked it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, the bitterness was very obvious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's There's rough. something sitting down and being shady in the corner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's rough, King. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> hmm. So that's that. They save it in between bubble puffs. Oh. So should we set up watches for the remainder of the night then? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll take. Yeah, I think we should just all sleep through it and uh, and let the owls come for us. Yeah, no, no, that's very fair. You know, go off. Let, you know, let, I... just, let it be quick and um. Exactly. All right, so the suicidal folks can sleep. <laughs> um, I I rather I, I just. Oh, maybe I was joking. I just. Feel I know. My, I know. I just feel my. Oh, you were also being sarcastic. Okay. I, I get it. I see you, Victor. Puts two fingers, point her their eyes, and points them back at you. Don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> it um, makes you feel better, Victor. I don't see you. <laughs> Thank you, Adder. You're welcome. Uh, I'll take this watch. Sit on. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? You want to stay up for a, a watch, Eddie? I suppose we probably should do our due diligence. Sure. As long, as long as nobody minds me watching. You got a better set of ears than some people here have a set of eyes, so... Appreciate that. Would Victor is a- not going to elaborate on who. <laughs> Would it be inappropriate to, um, say that, uh, I rely on you to keep an eye out, um, Ada. <laughs> what, is that a... keep an eye out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That joke is way funnier if you... Never mind. So it's just gonna <laughs> chuckle and give his <laughs> knee a pat. <laughs> <sighs> uh, you guys can easily set watches if you guys want to have specific groups and pairs um we can go through the watches that way otherwise we can sort of skim on so basically this is my are you role playing yes or no all right who wants to harass victor who wants to harass victor who's doing it (laughs) scholar isn't gonna harass anyone or are we gonna leave victor alone Victor get to stop. He's gonna bully Victor. Okay, uh, I think maybe Skylar would ask Victor if they wanted to do watch with them, but wouldn't harass Victor. They would just be silently uh, listening and fuming about their dad being a dick. Victor <laughs> is fine with that. Yeah. Blue dykes have a watch where they are silent, and one of them at least fumes about fathers. <laughs> Dead <Daddy> issues. Um. <laughs> He has daddy issues here. Hmm. There's no issues here. Never. I'm going to 
do my four hours of meditating. Nice. Right? That's Pathfinder. I'll still get yes. that, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and, um, and then not on watch. I'm going to like set up away from the group and um, I'm going to do a weird weaving thing. All right. Um, So I, I I would like to describe a thing, but I don't know if people would like to do watches first, because this is not watch related. Uh, I mean, I, I, unless PK wants us if to If there are no role... particular roleplay moments, I'm not making you guys roll oh, God bless. for watches tonight, because I, I don't have a second encounter prepared, frankly, and uh, <laughs> the owl was enough. <laughs> The owl was enough. We speed owl. ran that boss battle. Not owl. To be fair, that was less a boss battle and more a here's a fun enemy template. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. <laughs> <laughs> Me making the giant wolf man a dire wolf man and Eudora. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a it's just like a, you know. You know. Fun little guy. You know. It's just a fun little guy. Fun little guy. Well, dude. Okay. Um, so I think the I think the uh, the consensus though is that um, Fern, you're good to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um, first, I need to vibe check the the. F- I already vibe checked the feathers. Like I need my yes. vibe check feathers. Mm-hmm. I need to vibe check. Two feathers. Okay. I thought originally you're gonna say I'm gonna vibe check the fire, like the campfire. I was like, huh? No. You you can vibe check two feathers. Um. Are you looking for which direction of vibes are you looking for? Um. I don't know how to describe it. Generally uh, positive I'm, or generally negative vibes? Oh, um. Ones that feel like they get the whole. They represent the whole vibe of the mm. thing. Representative feathers, I got you. Yes, you can. you can easily do that. So, two, I have my two feathers. I'm going to um, take out my... I'm going to make sure I'm, like, sitting... I'm not near sit while I'm doing this, because I'm doing clear and shit. Um, uh, I'm going to take out my, um, my loom. Like, sort of store whatever projects on it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to... Just reach into my yarn bag, grab, just grab one, whatever it is, is what I get. And, um, I'm going to, um, make, like, instead of, like, looping it in a traditional weaving sense, I'm going to loop it in sort of an octagon, and then start building it inwards, like, in tears like a spider web mm-hmm. um just sort of making like looping patterns as i go and as i'm like halfway through it i sort of tuck the feathers in through the center like they're caught in between and then i and they're just end up wrapped in yarn hold mm-hmm. taut into um uh what is basically a an artistic spider web Um, all right and i will 
be mumbling things under my breath in a a language. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> anybody who ends up on watch during the second half of the night, uh, which is going to be anybody but the Dykes, would be able to probably witness this at a distance. And Fern, as it breaks morning, um, and your your piece is finished as near as it can be, the crawling on the edge of your loom and onto one of the fibers, a tiny black spider. And it makes itself comfortable. Friend. Yeah, we got a friend. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, all right. right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Vibes. It's so you guys, man. <laughs> you guys can get up in the morning. And is there anything in particular you'd like to do before setting out on your next sort of block of travel? Eat breakfast. <laughs> allowed. Implied, Excellent. but allowed. <laughs> hey, you asked. <laughs> I did ask. That's very true. I did ask. You got me there. <laughs> I can't think of anything pressing right. anyways, so. On the road again. How far are uh, how far out are we? Um, I you're about six days out. Okay. I guess it might just like every once in a while tune into the listen for a bit just to pass the time as we're going. Yeah, for sure. Make me a couple listen checks, sort of along the way, and I will. Okay. Give you bits and pieces as we go. How many would you like me to make? Give me three. We'll do one for each day in this block. Um, mm, that first one was bad. All right. And overall, during this block, I would like everybody to give me perception checks. Just everybody give me one that will stand for the whole block. Good thing, boss. That's better. Mm, that's not good. I'm just rolling it. And... No, the two on the dice. Um... You want to die? Yeah. Sure is something. Or eight. All right. Slap, slap those bad boys into the chat. Oh, he's been slapped. Oh, he has been <laughs> fucking slapped. Um, like, a, like an offended cat. <laughs> oh, nice picture. Thank you. Okay, there you go. There's all my my oh, checks. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, Victor. Nice. All right, gamers. We're so gaming. My perception and my sense motive checks like doubled in one level. So. Oh yeah. Uh, my sense sure. motive became stupid after his third level. Um, I'm gonna say first of all, Danela, you're a little distracted over these three days. Yeah. Someone won't stop bothering you. And he's so needy. She's bored. <laughs> and and Danela isn't entertaining her. And that is a problem that should be fixed. <laughs> and is being fixed. <laughs> and does indeed become fixed several times over the next three days. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, jumping up to the top of the perceptions, um, Victor, Skyler, Soot, Adder all notice um, Danela sort of popping in and out. Uh, just sort of, sometimes she's there, and then you go to look again, and then she's not there. And then a little while later, you go to look again, and she's there again. You know, normal things. This is, this is Skyler for reference. This was 
established as just a normal, unconcerning Danela thing. Um, but everybody notices it, uh, except yeah. for Fern. Fuck. And Fern... <laughs> so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You rolled an eight. I know, oh. no, and I think I rolled bad last time too. I'm not, I'm not like I'm laughing. I'm, it, it's funny. <laughs> and, uh, it, I should. I was gonna say something so mean. Um, <laughs> Please don't be mean to me. I'm just a little boy. Just a little, just a little guy. guy. I'm just a little guy. It was. It's. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> I can't be mean to a little guy on his birthday. Fern, your face hurts. Uh oh. Yeah. Does it feel? <laughs> does it feel like the other cold too? The thing is, this cold and the other cold are distinct, separate colds. This cold is cold like a pain the yeah. other cold is cold like a hunger like a wanting mm. for war. so distinct both not your favorite sensations no but and you're a little I... distracted for these three days because of it Oh, could I say? I figured it would be different. Could I have soot try something? Uh, yeah. Um, if, if yes, if Fern will allow it, he he will just be like, "Look, I don't know exactly what that is that's been put on you." Um, I mean, I learned a thing recently. Maybe it will help. What is? I... What's your thing? Um, he would explain, uh, suppressed charms and compulsions. I don't know if it would work or anything, but maybe? <laughs> um. Uh, that's a very interesting spell to cast on Fern. <laughs> oh, yeah. I would, maybe we don't want to do that. Yeah, maybe not, but so would, uh, uh, no, mention okay, it there, is a thing he can do. I... I nocturne really <laughs> want it. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean It would be funny though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I I can't see here's the thing about that spell. It might not go well, but you can give it a shot if you're curious. Well, honestly, I kind of just wanted to see if it would help with the cold? Whatever. It doesn't seem like it's come off, so... I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's causing it. Could be so many, so many things. You know how it is with um, things out of this world. So it just nods. Well, if you think it might be a bad idea, we can wait and see. And if we can't figure it out later, I suppose we could try it. Just as an option, if you'd want. It's probably a bad idea. But I'm gonna go ahead but... and let your first, uh, or your 26 listen check stand for this moment, because oh, I think God. it's gonna be funny if it does. Um, and I'm gonna type something to you here. Oh, God. <laughs> Does, what does this voice sound like to me? This is a voice that you have heard before. It's vaguely masculine. Um, finds things very funny. Hmm. Tends, tends to laugh. 
Mm. <laughs> oh, the bitch is there? <laughs> so, you know this voice. I have to say, Soot, it's probably not your favorite one. Yeah. I was just wondering if it came from somebody he'd be alright thinking would, like... Yeah, maybe they they wouldn't, uh, fuck me over if I listened to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what this guy just said. This bitch. I yeah. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. but, but he's right, it would be funny. Yeah. He is right, it would be funny. Um... Sit knows better, though, is the thing. He's been listening to these fucks for years, so he's just gonna shrug it off. <laughs> I don't mean to meta. I'm sorry. I think it's, it's funny. It's funny. In it, this case, it is funny. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's, it's great to meta when it's funny, and that's okay. <laughs> so true. You can do <laughs> any D&D sin as long as it's funny. <laughs> that's so the, true. The, the thing... The thing about metaing is that, like, when you're vague, when you're vague, it doesn't fucking matter because no one really like is a hundred percent on what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, nobody knows exactly what's happening here, so it's fine. Yeah, the only Besides me, the only <laughs> reason uh, the meta uh, is bad is when it ruins the fun, and this is not ruining the fun. <laughs> okay. We're we're ha I'm having so much fun. I am too. We're <laughs> gonna do this suppress charms and compulsions uh, at a later date. We're putting a pin in it. <laughs> okay. okay. Here's okay. the thing. The longer you wait, the worse the outcome is going to be. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to make God. the terrible decisions. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Worst part is Victor would not know, so my reaction is completely meta. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That, that particular bitch is known only to Soot, really. I know. <laughs> I was gonna say I know them currently, but that is untrue. <laughs> no, <laughs> you don't. Yeah. Uh, well, I what? <laughs> me mentally versus carnally. <laughs> it's uh, different. What? I don't I think you know any of them the voices I, carnally nor would no, you want to i'm <laughs> saying it's not, not no i'm not god i'm saying i don't know them yeah. that way i know them mentally only not yes yes sorry i you was were misunderstanding my brain i was making a joke in my brain that i can't say half of out loud and so it's not it doesn't work because of the spoilers but so it's, it's fine so it's not like at the farmer's market where everyone wants to know it, know me carnally. Okay. Uh, no, it is- well, the thing is, there's some- If you think of what's going on in there as a farmer's market, it's less that Soot is in the farmer's market. Maybe other people are in the farmer's market. And people want others in the farmer's market carnally. But Soot is, like- That's like in the sewer beneath the farmer's market, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm is this rat. metaphor <laughs> is this metaphor landing? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the catacombs, bitch. <laughs> nobody nobody can want him carnally because he's not at the farmer's market. Yeah. Everyone at the they? farmer's market wants fern carnally. <laughs> oh that's yeah. <laughs> God. They want him as more than just a friend. Anyway. Oh yeah. God. Oh, oh yeah, more than just a friend. Like I, I cannot say that either. <laughs> huh? I cannot say that either. Well, Hello? what else can we say about our our uh, percept? Or no, not perception checks. Other checks. Of yeah. Sorts. So our listen, our perception checks. You guys on um on this three day chunk. It doesn't. It's relatively uneventful. There's no weird wildlife to be seen. There's no odd people to be conversed with, which is a relief for many of you. You're just getting where you're going. Still a little unsettled. Still maybe not altogether sure what particularly is taking place. And indeed, one night around the fire, 
Adder says, Skylar. Um, uh, yes? So, I've been trying to figure this out for two days. Uh-huh. You were like, this case is connected to the the case from 50 years ago. Mm-hmm. And then you gave no elaboration whatsoever. And I don't know how they could possibly be connected. Well, if the um, ways that the person died, well, the uh, culprit of the last of the crime from years ago died, and the way that Mr. Mudspin died are the same. That's where I draw my conclusion from, mostly. Um, I, it was, you know, a bit of a. I kind of guess maybe they were connected at first, but if they died the same way, then. Well, once we determine the nature, what was the nature of the guy who took him years ago's death? Do you know, uh, yeah. I know? You you would Victor know that as well, but Victor replied. can explain. Yeah. Uh, Victor goes. It's not the the Grand Duke. The Grand Duke was. Yes, yes, it was the um culprit. Yes. Uh, he was found in his uh cell, um, dead of apparent suicide with with a rope wrapped around his neck. As has Mr. Mutz been. You know, as people do. Like, you know, wait, as I say, uh, would, it, would, it, would I know if it's like a uh, suicide wrap, wrap around your neck or a, uh, you know, someone strangled them and then said, oh, look, it's suicide because we don't want to investigate it. Uh, of... Make a history check. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 10 plus. My history is probably stupid. Um, knowledge history, yeah, 10 plus 20. Okay. Um, yeah, so it certainly looked like a suicide. Okay. Conveniently, with a rope of unknown origin, uh, yeah. several days before the assassin was to be sent to trial. Mm-hmm. It, it certainly looked like a suicide. Yeah. You, when discussing the case with your father on occasion, as you did when you were a kid, about, you know, talk about case details and things like that, he always mentioned that he was grateful that it had managed to wrap up so neatly, but that it wasn't handled as thoroughly as he would have liked. But yeah. because the case was in such a public eye, it was just easier for things to stay cleaner. Yeah. And yeah, then they'll say some more thing about it. It is, yes, um, um, they were found with a rope wrapped around the neck. However, my, my and my father's hypothesis has always been that the rip was... The, there was no way the rope should have been there. No reason the rope should have been there. It was meant to look like a suicide. Um, but I th and my father think it most definitely was not. It wrapped up far too cleanly and... <laughs> well, yeah, and that's mostly why I think that the death of the coroner is related to the death um, of, to the case 50 years ago. Are there a lot of, like, pardon me, are there, like, a lot of elves or some shit that's, like, involved? Like, just because 50 years ago is an awful long time, so I guess... Well, uh, I mean, possibly. I mean, people could keep records, someone could hold a grudge, and um, the person could be old right now and just said, you know, go murder this corner or something. Or there could be an elf, I'm not quite sure. Um... Halfling, cheeseling, I'm likely to live around 200. Yes. Oh, well, look at you. Yeah, there are quite a lot of long lived races. So I wish I had more answers for you. I guess I'm just sort of. I don't know anything about anything, so. Really? I was kind of wondering what the. You walked into that one. I have to wait to get a thing. The point Neither is, us got any fucking education, chill. The point is, 
not like I could read a history book. And hi, Taylor. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not like I just wasn't really sure why we were talking about the 50 years ago thing when the guy died like two weeks ago. And I, I don't know. I don't know how detective work works or any shit like that. So fucking. I was not speaking German. I was not. <laughs> God, to any sane person, it would kind of be a jump. But, I mean, I guess it makes sense with the shit that you've described. I just genuinely have no idea what's going on. Yes, no, um, those details would only be available to those who were close to the case at that point and then they kind of give Victor some side eye <laughs> I've been um, literally reading a book about the case off to the side here in the car if you I mean I guess you might not have like snooped but you know calm yeah. down um but anyway uh yes no um that's why I did find it kind of I mean you know Paul I know maybe he did the corner did off himself, but from what my father said other than that did not seem likely. All right, I mean, fair enough, I suppose. I'm sorry, it's just might be just pure coincidence. Um, but fucking this... how often are coincidences really? Yeah. This, this is just... Especially in this line of work. Well, my you line of work. You normally do, like, murder shit. Is this normally, like, your deal? Um, yes, no, that is quite usually my deal. Um, my father is, you know, world-famous detective, and I am following his footsteps in hopes to surpass him. Um, they do sound rather petty when they say that. <laughs> well, uh, good for you. I guess, um, if, if, if your life's passion is, is the murder and things, meaning, not meaning like, you know what I meant. Yes, yes, solving murders and not really committing the murders. I, I understood what you meant. All right, yes, that, that is what I meant. Anyway, sorry, sorry for is that, asking. Is that, is that what they meant? Is that what they meant, DM? That is what that is what he meant. Yeah, he's just, okay. he's, just he's just like <laughs> feeling awkward because he 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 does not understand the uh, the case whatsoever. Yeah, okay. the boys have a, a small understanding now. Um, they that's why Sid's been kind of quiet about it. He's like, I don't do detective work. <laughs> that's fair. I'm here to help for the magic shit only. <laughs> you know, of course, that could change once we discover all the facts when we get there. Like, I'm gonna keep asking stupid questions. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Like, if the guy, if the one guy is dead, mm -hmm. who, who's left to hold a grudge? Might well, is that good? Said might not even be a grudge. One does not assassinate a Grand Duke on their own. Yes, no, it, I think it was a group effort. The assassin was probably silenced once he was captured because, you know, those types of people do not like to leave loose threads. Hey, Mr. Bunspin is one hell of a loose thread. Mm hmm. Because he did a thing 50 years ago? Or. Yes, I mean, who, kn um, who knows what information he had access to at the time. Um, and I know. One hell of a least threat is correct. Here, here is a positive theory. Mr. Mudspin had some information that 50 years ago he was paid to keep silent. Nowadays, those who either paid him or their successors had decided that wasn't enough security. 
Well, that's that very... just begs the question of why now, then? Well, the leadership changes and even things come to light. But, um, nothing ever stays the same. Mm. So, without knowing who exactly paid him off, or what group um, committed this act, it's hard to say, really. And it is just a positive theory, and a good question is, of course, why now? Yes, so. why now, indeed. Well, all right. That's that's the part that... make detectives out of us yet? Yes, that's the part that bugs me, though. Fifty years, you're right, it is a very long time to wait. That's what I've been smoking, you know, blowing bubbles in my pipe about. I can't really sweat my, wrap my hand ar head around it. And... and it definitely could have made a better way of killing the man. If he was, I... he was older, right? He, they well, could have made it look like natural causes. Well, dwarves live quite a long while, is the thing. Admittedly, Skylar, you would know Handra Smudspin was not a young dwarf when he worked with okay. your father the first time, so okay. Stood is not far off base. Okay. Yeah. But they didn't have right. to make it look like he offed himself. They could have just Should... made it look like he died in his sleep or something. Send in a message. Mm -hmm. Send in a message is what I was thinking. So to who? I'm not sure. But that's what we will find out, ideally, once we arrive there. Right, well, I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> I'll keep my eyes open for <laughs> fucking magic, then. You guys can do the digging. Never been good with a show. <laughs> the murder experts should uh, handle the murder, huh? <laughs> there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a twist to, to, to Victor's lips, I think, at the murder experts. Right, yeah. I think Skylar <laughs> chuckles at them so you me say that. It makes it sound like rather good I mean, rather good at murder. I don't know about Victor, but I don't make a habit of doing murder. But I understand what you meant. But just very, very funny. Quite humorous, actually. I don't know, I think. But I suppose if, you know, someone who investigates crimes and cleaning up, you know, and figures out how people have been murdered, I would be, actually might be good at murder if I really put my mind to it. Huh. I just, I just, I just feel that, I, 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 you know, you both, you both speak with a good deal of confidence on it, is all I'm trying to say. Yes, yes. No, I, I got what you meant. It's just also, now that I'm thinking about it, that I really was keen on committing a murder. I guess I, I could do I it. hope I have not given anybody any ideas that could lead no. to ill fortune for me specifically in the future. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good night. I'm fleeing the conversation. <laughs> Skylar's just sitting there like, huh, I never considered it that I could actually do murder well with my uh, with my area of knowledge, and then just uh, goes back to writing what, um, goes back to writing it, trying to develop a new formula for their fucked up and evil energy drinks. God bless. So yeah. we'll follow so that's nothing else. <laughs> Alright. Anybody, anybody else got any crucial Role play moments in mm. India in these three days, or shall we skip to the next? Let's go. Crucial. Crucial. Short for crucial. Uh, yeah. Let's 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 head forward then. I think the only thing that happens is Victor giving Danella a side comment, like just something like, "Your patron is insatiable." <laughs> oh my god! I know. <laughs> That is it. Yeah. <sighs> true, true, and real. So real. So real. All right. Real, so true. You're you're heading out on your last three days. Make perception checks for the for the three three days. No, oh, that's not as good. Oh, we're all rolling one? Yep. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> that was so bad! Oh, I was uh, so proud of him. 
What's my perception? That's a nothing. Okay, well, I rolled the lowest without rolling a one, so that's a two perception. <laughs> Oh, I also rolled a two. Yay! I'm so so proud of you two. Winning. <laughs> God, Sith's so just distracted by Adder again. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So what happens is at the start of the three days, um, Adder says something a little bit saucy to you, and you think about it for the next three days. <laughs> He's fucking stewing about it. <laughs> he's, he's thinking. Um, you're thinking thoughts, unfortunately. Um, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not the everybody, thoughts. Everybody else, again, there's a normal amount of traffic on the road. It's getting thicker and thicker. Once you're in the uh, past the first few days on your last day of travel into Sentara, you are quite frequently passed on the road, whether people heading your same direction or heading the other way. Um, there's also more sort of outskirts, um, small, single, or just a couple houses, even little clusters of shacks where uh, people have set up within a day's journey to the city. Um, and it's very, very populated. Um, in this in this area, um, and there's just a couple times you end up getting stopped. There's a gentleman who uh, stops because Fern happens to be driving the carts and asks you for directions, and you have to have a ten minute conversation. You didn't know where the directions were to, like, so you couldn't help him with that, but you just had to chat. Um, yep. for a solid 10 minutes because mm -hmm. it would have been rude otherwise. And, uh, you know, he just had a lot to say about Sonterra and you guys have, you guys all been here before? It's a great place. I mean, it's just so, it's just such a, such a, such a good good community, you know, if you're in the right place. It's just such a vibrant, vibrant place, you know. There's always so much, like, rich local color. It's such a, such, I always love making trips to Sonterra. I'm having customer service flashbacks. You're having yeah. this conversation yep. for ten mm -hmm. minutes, Fern. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Midwestern I'm... goodbye. <laughs> I'm you're, you're so getting... good at this conversation, by the way. So good at social situations, and this one especially. Oh, um, these! I'm built for these kinds of social situations. Hell yeah! Element. You you leave that man thinking about what a lovely conversation he had uh, for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, but you guys can easily carry on. There's a couple times where when things get crowded on the road, again, you have to sort of shift, um, figure out how these four wagons are trying to go at the same time. Y'all, come on, this, there's a better way to do this. What are we doing here, fellas? It should not be this hard. But eventually, despite the existence of people, you all arrive at the walls of Sonterra. Sonterra, finally! <laughs> you, you guys have made it to Sonterra. Congratulations. Um, the walls are tall um, and old, but well-maintained stone. The gates, however, are wide open. There's no restriction of travel in and out, and you're entering from the east the eastern gate of the city. Welcome to civilization. You are in big people town. It's about 5 p.m. when you arrive in Sentara. Victor is going to vote uh, in. Yeah. Stable the horses and an inn. It's... Yep. God, I want a new bed. All right. You guys can easily. Are you looking? What what quality of inn are you looking for? 
meaty. Fine. Yeah. yeah. Acceptable. Yeah. Standard. Essentially. All right. Mid range yeah. to uh, lower upper. Who knows? All right. So not shit. Yeah. Not shit. That, that's all. That's yeah. all I really need. Comfortable. Because <laughs> we spent a lot of time in this shit in last time, right? I think. No, you're, you're, you're in a perfectly well, fine in last time. It okay. was just. Um, yeah. You are asking around. You are referred to an inn called. Um, the Ugly Fox, which, okay. Mm. But <laughs> upon entering it, it is actually quite warm, well kept, comfortable. Um, the proprietor uh, seems to be a. You're not sure how old he is, but he's an elf and he looks old. So, he must be really old then. Pretty fucking old, probably. <laughs> yeah. um, but a very, you know, just the kind of gentleman who is just gonna sit there um, drinking his tea. He's happy to get you guys a room, of course. How many rooms would you like? If they have a room, the scholar can be alone in, then yes, that. Otherwise, they will pair up with someone else. I don't care about being a loner with someone. All right. If someone wants to share, I'm cool. Victor would prefer very much to be alone. <laughs> are available, so Skylar and Victor at least will have one each. Sit will room with Adder. Surprising um, no one. <laughs> I don't know. I'm shocked, honestly. Uh, yeah, no, this time yeah. they're going to be separate. <laughs> Burn and Danae. Yeah, yeah. And Aya as well. I and forgot Aya. she was here. I'm so sorry, Joe, if you're listening to this. Um, you guys can get a triple, or one of you can stay on your own, depending on what you prefer. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> I don't care either way. The triple has think, a bunk bed. I don't think Aya would care. Oh, nice. Oh, then, yeah, guess we're getting the triple. That leaves so much room for activities. <laughs> Holy fuck. Bunk bed. Bunk okay, bed. who wants the top? Who wants the top bunk? I mean, I bet Aya would just because Bird. Aya instinct. would want the top yeah, bunk. Yeah, would. The thing. Roost. Roost. Somebody instinct. at Joe and tell her that Aya got the top bunk. Um. But yeah, you guys are charged um, eight silver per room. Okay, so it'll pay his eight silver per room. And, and, yeah. I guess yeah. I'll knock off three, or if we're sharing them. Someone can pay two. Yeah. You said I eight will... silver, right? I'll just, I'll just put, yes, eight silver. Okay, I will you. take three off for Aya, so Nocturne, if you want to take two silver off for Fern. Alrighty. Alright. Uh, acquired. I'm, I'm going to put a gold down and just get change because uh, I do not have enough silver. I do have a lot of gold. You are though. allowed to get change. That is an expected part of interactions yeah. with, with NPCs. Um, but yeah, you guys get your rooms. Again, the rooms themselves are tidy, comfortable. There's a there's a nice little uh, a dinner menu. Ooh, I'll look over that. Whatever. I don't have it. actual like top like food items prepared, but it it oh, sounds like pretty good, good home cooked cuisine. Hell yeah. Um. So you know, good food. You guys can easily easily get food. I'm not gonna worry about charging you for food. Nice. And the night is yours. I I assume I we kind of like meet up after we've kind of put our shit away and just kind of discuss 
if we want to do anything tonight or not. Search down leads and stuff. I think um, Victor would be more of... Oh, go for it. Oh, I was just... No, you can go first. Uh, Victor's just kind of of the opinion of, like, we should at least, like learn the, the the vague general area that we are staying in. Mm hmm Yeah. Sure. Is it your suggestion? Get a lay of the land first, that's fine. Are we sending everyone out to like get as much area as possible or doesn't matter. I'm down to wander. All right. Guys, uh, if you are going to spend the evening wandering and getting the lay of the land, go ahead and everybody give me perception or knowledge local checks as you are exploring. Can I also oh, no. do my listen? Can I also yeah. do my listen? If I could roll above a 10. Oh, for the god. love of god. I haven't rolled very well either. You said knowledge local or perception? Is that what or you said? Or perception, those are your options, yes. Uh, let's do knowledge local for that, because that was really yeah. bad. I'm also going to do knowledge local. My perception's higher, but it makes more sense for information gathering. Uh... I just keep rolling like 15 over and over again. Mood. I rolled between 10 and 15 the entire night, but Pathfinder be like, here, have stupid bonuses. God, the only time I can roll good is my fucking listens checks. That was a natural 20. <laughs> oh my god, oh, okay. No adder. Hold on. Uh, what is my bonus again? I think it's a 7, right? Yeah. Boy, hello. Alright. Yeah. So, the two locals. Um, Fern and Skylar are both. So that is an exception for this. <laughs> um, Fern and Skylar, you're both sort of wandering around, um, getting the lay of the land, yes, but also talking to people a little bit, um, chatting. You're in, uh, the ugly fox is in a sort of. It's on the eastern side of the city. Um, it is in a very um, shopping district. Clearly, it's like you are entering the city. You are going to want to shop and also stay. Like, it is, it's located uh, here for, for an optimal reason. Um, and going around... There's a lot of interesting shops, you know, how there are in cities. Just some very, like, clearly... This is a really specific local, like, guy who is selling apparently glass-blown seashells and has made a whole functional business out of it. And that seems to be the only thing that he sells. But, all right, good to know. And are walking through town, both of you, and Skylar, you... with Fern first. Fern, you are chatting with people a lot, and you do get the sense that while the area immediately around your inn is very commercial, very very shop-oriented, the residential stuff is just a little bit further into the city, and whilst we're walking around, you see that the city guard in the shopping district is very much present the people in uniforms are active and you the couple people you talk to mention that that's sort of out of the ordinary um to see them this busy at seven o'clock on a wednesday you know uh skylar as you're chatting, you actually do manage to bring up the right things to the right people and get directions to Mr. Mudspin's um, domicile and place of work. Somebody who knew him directs you that it is a little bit further into the city, um, 
more in the uh, well-to-do district, mm -hmm. closer to the center, still on the eastern side, though, and gives you directions to that for when you need them. Um, perceptions, Danela and Victor, you guys uh, are noticing Victor, you've been here before. You're used to this. Danela, you haven't been here, but if this is not the well-to-do district, you're a little, like, apprehensive to see the well-to-do district because mm -hmm. these, these people, I mean, for God's sake, there's a whole shop that's just glass-blown seashells, and apparently people spend enough money on that to make that a viable business model. Mm -hmm. Um... It's definitely a well-off city as a whole. But you guys are able to sort of get impressions on where the main shops are and where uh, the districts around your area sort of divide, as well as, generally speaking got higher. Victor did. Um, Victor, you especially are able to sort of pinpoint around your inn a variety of alleys and general sort of places where one could stow away. It's the district, the shopping district that you're in is definitely a very like intricately built place in the sense that there are a lot of small narrow passageways and buildings that are in odd shapes that leave sort of nooks and crannies in a way which mm -hmm. in in some ways is comforting because you're pretty sure you could get away from your inn like eight different ways and not have people follow you god bless so those are the things you notice um it doesn't matter because you start to think that you're going to try to talk to people mm -hmm. and you're going to go up and chat with people and then the voices in your mind are getting so loud you can't hear the person in front of you talking. Is Adder and next have, to me? Adder is next to you, and you sort of start to tense up in the way that you do, and Adder actually ends the conversation for you. Yeah, I think Soot probably reaches out to, like, steady himself while this is happening. Yeah. And Adder takes your hand and pulls you away. And the voices... At first, they're so loud you can't even think about what they're actually saying to you. Mm -hmm. um, but they're as you're as you're pulled away and into like a little bench on an alcove somewhere, you are able to focus in on individual voices, the loudest ones, not let everything uh, get all blurred in your brain and you hear specifically a voice telling you to walk that way over there to the left click now so it's gonna Fun. click now does he's sitting right he's sitting on a bench yeah so it's gonna stand up and and pull Adder with him. <laughs> All right. Adder, Adder is following you. Clearly, slightly concerned, and the voice says, "Good. All right, keep going that way. Careful now. Watch out." Yep. So we'll so we'll do as as told. <laughs> you are, and you are instructed by this voice. Um. You keep walking down one street and then another 
and then another, and you're making twists and turns. Frankly, you hope that Adder is keeping track of where you are, um, because you're definitely going to be lost after this. And cool. <laughs> you, you arrive sort of at the end of an alley. And there's somebody standing up against the wall on a box of some kind on a crate maybe or they're not standing they're climbing the wall they're oh they're trying to get into the window um and you stop and they hear something and turn around and see you and say Shit, sorry, didn't realize anyone was gonna be here. Uh so it kinda like blinks about that, um, and just didn't really expect it either. Um You got a moment to talk. Um Horse. He still has one hand, like, on the windowsill. It looks like he's trying to break into this place, right? It, it really looks like he's <laughs> trying to break into this place. It really does. So it's just gonna give him, uh, his best, like, I surely don't know what's going on here. Uh, follow me, kinda, like, he, he's using his, um, he he's doing the stupid act is what he's doing. <laughs> make a make a bluff check. Okay. I'm pretty good and at those. Props oh, to this guy for being like cool as a fucking cucumber. About yeah, exactly. Um, bluff. Oh, that's plus ten. I forgot about that. That's a twenty-eight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He just sort of he just sort of follows along. Where like he's just he hops down from his crate, lands gracefully, looks back up at the window, it is still open, looks back to you, and says, right here, or elsewhere, or I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. So it'll just give a smile and just say, you can call me Sit. Uh, God, I don't know what to say to this motherfucker. Uh, cause I'm- the the voice in your head has gone quiet, by the oh, way. Oh, Sid's so pissed about that. <laughs> He's upset. Um, I'm sorry. Me as Ren, I can't think of anything to ask this that motherfucker. Is, that is uh, valid. Adder will also say, I'm Adder. Uh, and this guy is standing there like, nice to meet you both. You new in town? Yes, uh, on business, I suppose. Never the worst, uh, never the worst place to do business, but not the, not the most fun you could be having here, I'm sure. Um, can you give me, like, a description of this dude... Like... Yeah, so this man is, upon first glance, half-elf. Okay. Um, he's got um, very pale skin. Um, probably for a half-elf, you're not, like, Human equivalent, because PK only knows human ages, human equivalent, this guy's probably late 20s, early 30s. Um, pale skin, um, ginger hair, um, freckles all across everything. He's wearing very normal, commoner clothes. Um, 
maybe a little on the nicer end of commoner. Um, mm. Just well made, more so than any immediate fanciness mm-hmm. to it. Um, doesn't appear to have any strange objects on his person. Okay. Um... He is so awkward right now, it's not even funny. <laughs> um, me as Ren, I don't know what to ask this man. Um, I wasn't expecting to meet a person. Is the That's thing. valid. You're getting bamboozled by the DM a little bit, and I apologize to it's, you for that. It's alright. It's mostly because it's late and I don't know what to ask this man. Um, it's okay. If, if anybody in chat has suggestions, because I'm... <laughs> it's blank uh, in here. <laughs> you haven't gotten his name yet. That's right, that's right. Well, did the courtesy of a name, what about you? Oh, uh, you can call me Ray. Ray. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, if you're new around here, have you tried the donuts from just a couple blocks down? The, the donut place. Can't say I have. My friend, I have got such a treat for you. Follow me this way. Why don't I? Why don't I show you where that is? Mm, I don't like that. <laughs> he is, he is, he is, you can make a sense motive check on you. Yeah, you like. my sense motive is shit. But uh, okay, that's not a bad roll. I don't but... know if batters is good. I don't think. I don't suspect that it is. I'm okay, proud of him. I have, I have no bonus. Oh, good for him. I rolled a 16. <laughs> All right. He genuinely, great. the vibe you're getting is less that he's trying to, like, trick you into something and more that he's trying really hard to not be in this alley where you definitely caught him breaking into a window. <laughs> yeah. um, so he's coming up with any excuse he can mm-hmm. to leave. All right, so we'll just kind of like give Adder's arm a little bit of a squeeze where he's kind of holding it and just like, you know, I think it'll be wonderful. All right, all right, right, right down here. It's literally just down this street and down that street. And he takes you exactly where he says he's going to take you. There's a little donut shop. All right. It's called Donna's. Donna's um, Donuts, nice. Donna's Donuts, the very <laughs> same. And um, he... Go ahead. <laughs> No, you go ahead. He he he, tr- he seems like he's mostly just trying to make weird conversation the yeah. whole time. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going through things in my head and I can't. If you want to pick this part up yeah. next week, I can then I can jump to somebody else. Yeah, that would be great. And then cause... we're wrapping up very soon. I promise. Yeah, I. Because then I can get some time to figure out what to ask this man. Um. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Um, as you are as you are walking through the donut shop, it is you realize that the alley you ended up down wasn't really... Like, it was right by your inn. You just must have been, like, turned around from all the different ways that the voice guided you down, and you'd been far away. We hadn't really gotten the lay of the land yet. You were pretty, you were, you're, this is all stuff that you remember seeing as you walked out of the inn. So it mm. can't have been that far. Yeah. Um, so you're less turned around and lost than you thought. Yes. Um, but let's see here. Danela and Victor uh, are able to continue their scouting unless you're looking for something specific. Uh, nope. All right. Um, and Fern and Skylar. Skylar, you, um, finish your sort of carousing for information. You get the directions to Mr. Hunter's Mudspin's shop. You're like, all right, I have made good progress. I am going to go back to my inn and decompress with my funky little energy drinks. And you go back to your room. And you take off your coat. And you're chilly. 
because the window's open. Hmm, and I didn't leave the oh window open, right? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> and I think that's actually where we'll leave off, because it's getting pretty oh, late. No oh, no You almost got broke into... <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that's funny, actually. So. Incredible. Wow. That's the fucking day, apparently. Smiles. Off. <laughs> oh my god.